And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. With our first accumulating snow in 25 days, our snow drought came to an end. And now our cold drought is going to come to an end as well. Here's a look at the next seven days. High temperatures tomorrow will only be in the mid to upper 20s. That's below normal. After that, the warmth returns 30s to around 40 as we move into early next week. Right now, we are looking at some colder air working in from the north. 29 degrees in Sheboygan compared to 19 degrees in Anago. Currently in the valley, we've got cloudy skies and some freezing drizzle. The temperature has dropped down to 25 degrees. Freezing drizzle and 25 degrees, not a good combination. A lot of icy roads out there, sidewalks and driveways. Just keep that in mind if you do have to head out this evening. 27 degrees right now. In in Green Bay with some freezing drizzle as well. Storm Shield radar not showing much, but earlier today we had thunder snow, something that is quite rare. We typically get it a few times each year, but most of us never see it. This morning, however, a lot of us saw it because the thunder snow storms moved right over the Fox Valley, producing a lot of cloud to ground lightning and some very heavy snow. In fact, earlier this morning, around one to two o'clock in the morning, I was looking out my window and seeing the heaviest snow I've seen all winter long. Now, the majority of the snow, as expected, fell last night into this morning. Many areas picking up three to six inches of snow, and we've got another one to two to three inches of snow on the way for later on tonight into tomorrow morning. And that means most of us will end up with right around five to nine inches. The heaviest totals will be across central Wisconsin. As you take a look at Storm Shield radar, once again, you can see why we're going to get some more snow. Look at all this light to moderate snow across western Wisconsin and southeastern Minnesota. That is going to slowly pivot through here later on tonight into tomorrow morning. It's developing on the back side of this big storm, which is now moving off towards the north and east. Behind the storm, we've got Arctic high pressure building in from the north. Cold temperatures today across the northern plains, highs only in the lower to mid 20s, and that colder weather is moving in. Today was our 15th straight day with above normal high temperatures, but tomorrow will not be day number 16. Our normal high is 31. All of us will be below that, and when you factor in gusty winds, it's going to feel even colder. Wind chills will be in the single digits and teens as we move through the morning and early afternoon. Now, as far as sky conditions are concerned, we're going to see that light snow redevelop. It'll be a steady light snow that continues for most of the night. Once again, another one to three inches across the area. That snow lingers into tomorrow morning, and then it's high pressure builds in during the afternoon, we'll see increasing sunshine. So tonight, look for light snow after the freezing drizzle. It's going to stay windy. Overnight lows around 20. Tomorrow, a few leftover light snow showers or flurries, then increasing sunshine. It's going to be a windy and chilly day. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 27. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to double portion, and we did that today. I forecast an early morning high of 34 and we hit 34 degrees. As we head into Sunday, we warm back up. Mid 30s, maybe a few flurries, upper 30s to around 40 on Monday. Another system moves through for Tuesday and Wednesday, giving us the chance for some light rain or light snow and warmer temperatures. And then we cool off as we head into March, Stacy, which is typically the craziest month of the entire year here in Northeast Wisconsin. And we got a little taste of March here <laughs> over the know. last week or so. Lots of craziness going on. That thunder snow this morning. Was love it. it. I love know. it. It's one of my favorite things. Shook me it's right so out of rare. bed. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, yep. Cameron. Well, the warm weather.